from Baltimore uh, a few months ago, a great poet, Chris Toll, passed away suddenly, just like that. Mm -hmm. You're here one minute, and you're gone the next. And mm -hmm. I found out that not only was he a great poet, but he was a tremendous human being. At his service, there were a couple hundred people there. I have to pay people, to, that many people, to get to my funeral. <laughs> but 200 people and a poet, you know that's a special human being. And I was lucky enough to know him and also lucky enough to publish some of his work in Fledgling Rag number 10. Uh, number 12 will be out in uh, April. And actually number 10 number 11, number 12, and I think number 7. The covers were done by a young man who was in the back of the room. Also a relative. <laughs> this poem is for and after Chris Toll. It's called, for those of you who are somewhere around my age, you will get the reference. No doubt about it. i got to get another hat. In my head it was Vincent, not Boris who narrated the Who family fun during Grinch time in December. But then he decided to clock in for Sears, selling Rembrandts, not Lady Kenmore's. Clarity at 14. Why is he in crash? I met Santa who fingered a pocket full of poems on the corner of St. Paul and Nowhere, now here. Four times, maybe three, he passed out couplets to the crowd, a smile full of antlers. Bullwinkle not Rudolph. I know why Chris is in Christmas. Some gods play with clouds like Plato, who forgot to wind the clock. Some poets cloud with play, like heart tracings. Why is toll in atoll? How does a poet fall back into the sky? What time is it? I am certain only twice each day. This is once. I know why he is an ache.